Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to be talking about those little dudes that just like to hop around the swamp and they, you really just don't pay them any mind because they just don't aggro on you. And then when you're lower level, you're like, hey, that looks like it's pretty interesting. You go up to it, you smack it with your spear or your pike, and then bam, you're unconscious. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about the Beazle Bufo. Yeah, the little uh, giant frogs. And we're going to also be talking about one of the best ways of getting some minting paste other than raiding beaver dams. Yes, that is right. We're going to be talking about great ways of taming these guys out in the wild, and we're going to be talking about um, ways of taming them in taming pens. Taming pen is not really necessary. Um, it is under certain circumstances early on in the game when you're using bows when you're using crossbows yeah it is kind of necessary well not really necessary but it's it's easier when you're out in the wild and then you have a bow and a uh, crossbow if you just pick these guys up with uh, say like an argentavis or something like that or you just lure them into a taming pen that's actually the most effective way um just lure them into a taming pen and you can knock them out at your uh, you know at your leisure <laughs> But if you're doing out in the wild, if you're doing in the open, it is possible to um, knock these guys out with a bow, with a crossbow. But I would recommend using just your your highest level uh, long neck rifle with the best uh, darts that you possibly have. Either the shocking trank darts or the regular um, trank darts. Uh, because if these guys hit you out in the wild, your butt's going to get knocked out. And it's not going to be pretty. Alright, so hey, sit tight and we're going to go, dis first we're going to go uh, discuss one of the better taming pens for these guys. If you're going to uh, use the taming pin method for taming one of these Beazle Bufos, I recommend, I recommend something uh, kind of like this. It doesn't have to be nearly this big, but you want something at least two walls high just in case. Because every once in a while, if you put like window walls or something like that on your... Uh, thing it can uh if you just put a one high they can bounce right over it they can just jump right up um over the top of it but um if you're gonna use something that's too high just make a ramp going up the side um around it like that lure it into it drop it into it anything of the sort and just tame it that way because that way is actually really really simple because they can't get out of it um it's they're you're not gonna pose any kind of uh problems getting them uh into it out of it anything of the sort because once you get these guys tamed they can jump wicked high now also if you do have access to an ichthyornis or if you've tamed an ichthyornis i would recommend taking it with you because getting prime meat sometimes over near the swamp can be kind of a pain unless if you have a ton of uh um boas around you and then that way there you can just gank those really quick but um with the uh Oh, with an Ichthyornis, you can just pick up a Dodo right next to the swamps and then get prime meat from it. That way, it's really easily, or it's really easy. Um, their kibble is um, scorpion kibble, but I would recommend not using scorpion kibble on it. Save that stuff for the Rexes. These guys are super easy tames without kibble. You don't need kibble when it comes around to a... Uh, to a Beazle Bufo or a Giant Frog. You just don't need it. It's really not a requirement. And that is a nice Parasaur right there. Holy crap. All right, yeah, I can't get distracted by the pieces of candy. All right. So, hey, let's head over to the swamp. Let's go uh, find ourselves a frog. And let's just tame one of these suckers out in the wild. Because why not? I mean, yeah, if we're going to do it, let's do this upright. Alright, now over on the island, there's only a few spots where you can actually find Beazle Bufos. Granted, they're large spots, but... They're only in the swamps. Oh, dude, you freaked me out, man. I thought you were a Capra Suckster for a second. All right. But over in the swamps, you need to be very careful, especially if you're going around on foot. Now, I would recommend, if you have access to an Argentavis, that you just use an Argentavis. You pick it up, you pluck it up out of the ground, you drop it into a taming pan. No problem whatsoever. But if you're going to do it out here in the wild, like we're going to do it now, it's actually pretty easy. But you still need to make sure that you take care of everything in the immediate surrounding area because you have to deal with uh, Caprosuxes, you have to deal with Baryonyxes, you have to deal with Raptors, you have to deal with um, Dimorphodons when they get aggroed, which are a pain in the butt, let me tell you. You have to deal with Sarcos, you have to deal with Titanoboas. It is all sorts of crazy up in here. 
yeah, it is. Um, but you know, it's it's very doable. But yeah, just make sure that you uh, when you uh, decide that hey, I'm gonna go tame a frog, that you make sure that you pay very close attention to all the baddies in the area. Hey, just like that guy right there, and then this guy right here. All right, thank you. I'm gonna need all that prime meat here in just a couple seconds. All right, but now we can get up somewhere kind of high. Come on, can I jump up there? No. All right, now we're gonna get up somewhere place kind of high. Hopefully, eventually, maybe. Suck it. And then... We're gonna see if we can find ourselves a couple frogs. Or at least a frog. Now let's get over here. You can just see these guys circling around down there in the swamps all the time. Any place that there's... Yeah, right there's one. Right there. Bam. Alright, the hardest part with these guys is actually getting them out of there. Yeah, suck it, dude. Alright, and also, pay very close attention to leeches in the area. Because leeches will gank you right quick. And so will Caprosuckers. Alright, that guy just jumped, so... No, 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 no. Thank you. Suck it. Like I said, there's all sorts of nasty stuff out here. Oh, for real? Oh, you want a piece of me, man? All right. All right, so now that we've got that, let's worry about getting our frog. Right there is one right there. Let's see. Let's just tag this guy with the quick and simple crossbow bolt. Wrong button. There's a capper over there. There's a frog over there. Hmm. Baryonyx. Whistle neutral on our amount, just in case if that Capro comes over and aggro's on us. See if we can get one of these guys. All right, get him, Oreo. That's oh, Baryonyx. Something. I like Baryonyx. Alright, let's get that Baryonyx, because we're dipping in the water. Come on, dude. Dude, get over here. Come on, dude. Get over here. Alright, now this dude right here, he's just right out of the water. See, these guys, they don't have crap for Torpor. So if you can just kind of one-shot knock them out, it is super easy and super effective. Now, their Torpor is kind of going to be going down fast, but their um, their food goes down wicked fast. So you, you really don't have to worry about it. Just throw a little bit of prime meat on them, and these guys, they're going to be your buddy right quick. What was that? Is that a leech? Looked like a leech. Was that a leech? It was a leech! Alright, cool. So we've got a leech! Nice! Alright, throw that on him. And he's gonna be up right quick. Is that on- oh yeah. It's on you. Alright, no more leech. All right, now, uh, here, notice that their food, it goes down wicked fast. So you really don't need, even though their torpor goes down fast, their food goes down even faster. So as long as you have prime meat readily available, these guys, they're going to be your uh, buddy right quick. All right, let's get this guy tamed up. Are you going to eat? There we go. And then we already have one. It's really super simple. 
All right, but now that we have one of these guys, we're gonna go get a saddle. Now, their saddle is actually really simple to make. Let's take a look. All right, Bezel Bufo saddle, you can craft it at level 40. It's five cementing paste, 95 fiber, 170 hide, 30 wood, and it's just craftable in your inventory. All right, I'm gonna spend just a second to grab all this stuff, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, had to run all the way over here to get some beaver dams. All right, let's see, uh, crafting. There we go, bam, get that sucker made. And then also there's a trick to getting a bunch of bugs because here I'm gonna show you these guys right here They will harvest bugs and get you tons of cementing paste. It is wicked cool Just how fast these guys get you cementing paste All right, so once you get these guys sit down you get their saddle on them There's a couple things we want to discuss. All right the first there's their left click attack It's just a simple tongue like this all right, but it has actually has a really long reach on it it's pretty cool. And then you get like this side to side tongue swoop. It's really, really cool. All right. And then their jump, wicked high. You can get some serious velocity off these guys. It's really cool. Now, if you're um, going to be using one of these guys as a mount to go into, the, say, like the caves um, over in the swamp cave or something like that to go harvest bugs, which we'll get to here in just a minute, um, these guys, they're actually really, really good. I would recommend um, putting a little bit into health, probably about um, out of every five levels that you give them, I would get at least two into health and then at least two into melee damage, and maybe one into weight, because they're gonna need the weight. Yeah, they're gonna need the weight. So that's what I would go with. That's, that's what I would recommend, is um, out of every five levels, two in health, two in melee damage, and one in... Seriously, that dude just spawned right on top of me? All right, but here, now that we've got this, let's discuss another thing. These guys, they have a torpor attack. Now, it's not a very good torpor attack, and it doesn't stack very high, but it is a torpor attack. Seriously, dude, just die, all right? Um, but they're, um, it only stacks up to two times, but only their left click attack stacks up to two times. The right click attack doesn't stack at all, but it will stack with their first um, attack. So if you hit it, if you hit something with say a left click attack and immediately follow it up with a swoop, you can actually get the, double the dot. Because their right click attack does do slightly more damage, but it doesn't stack with anything other than one left click attack. And so, yeah, but it is three times the amount of torpor that you get from, uh, from the damage. Alright, let me see. Uh, I, I left all my bullets. This guy's kind of a low level. Here, let me see one sec. Alright, but, um, if we take, if over here in the... In the swamp, if we take some bullets, or if we take our, if we take something and then we kill it, and let me show you. Let's see if we can get over here. Seriously, that didn't hit. Okay. All right, you know what? Yeah. All right, if you take one, if you take a corpse and you just kind of kill it, but don't harvest it, and then you just wait. And if there's a bunch of bugs around it, they will be instantly attracted to the corpse. And they'll want to come over and try to harvest it. Now, this is a great way to actually go uh, kind of fishing for bugs, per se. Um, it, you just kind of just harvest them that way. And then when the bugs come up, you quickly kill the bugs. Because the frogs, they do bonus damage to bugs. It's pretty cool. Alright, here, let me see if we can kill something else. Um, where's something easy? Come here, Mr. Sarko. All right, Sarko's dead. Now we're just gonna let um, bugs kind of. No, you're not supposed. No, leave my Sarko alone. 
Oh, that was not smart, Mr. Purser. Or Mr. Capro. Alright. So now we've got a couple corpses here. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Ouch. Ouch! This is gonna die. Yep, that was that was not good. Leave me Leave me alone. All right, all right, time to find a new one. Oh, and gee, look right here. Right next to Oreo is another one. Let me grab my trank darts really quick, and let's get this guy tamed up really quick. It, it, these guys are super easy. Ouch! Thank you. All right, where'd that guy go? Oh, there you are. Oh, you're a little bit better. Alright, that guy's already out. See? Super easy. Alright, let's just drop this stuff on him. And get us another one tamed up. No problem. All right, so here we are. We've got a corpse right over here. Now, you see there's going to be a whole ton of bugs coming in. If you just swipe attack like this, look at all this cementing paste we're getting. It is insane just how fast these guys get cementing paste. Look at that. Four bugs, 80 cementing paste. Amazing. And also, it's one of the easiest ways to level these guys up. All you do is just go uh, kill something next to the swamp, wait until it uh, dies, and then, yeah, super easy. Come on, reload. Seriously? Alright, that one's dead. Reload. Let's see if any more bugs come around. Any more bugs? We've got some nice tasty boa over here. Come on, bugs! I don't think the bugs want to come out and play. All right, but yeah, these guys right here, they are actually super effective for going out and uh, getting um, cementing paste by, like, going into the uh, swamp cave over at the uh, the cave of the immune. Get over here. All right. All right, yeah, you're not following him. Yeah, the cave of the immune over by the edge of the redwoods over on the bit of the swamp. Uh, because there's just so many bugs in there, they kill everything so quickly. And then also, you just harvest the entrance of it for pretty much endless cementing paste. It's really quick just how many hundreds and thousands of cementing paste you can get super, super fast. All right. So, hey, anyway, um, that's that's pretty much going to cover it for the Beazle Bufo. Yeah, they're they're kind of a one-stop shop kind of thing. They get cementing paste. Lots of cementing paste. Wicked quick. I wouldn't use it for knocking out things because they just don't do enough torpor. But other than that, they are super, super fast. For getting a lot of stuff. I'm um, a lot of cementing paste. Really wicked quick. Alright. Oh, hey. Where were you guys when I was looking for you? Holy crap. Alright. So, hey. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everybody.